Mwah. Smells burnt. Hey guys, what's up? You know who I am. If you're watching this, you know who I am by now. It's B to the Rook Tomo. Come on, Rook. How long have you been doing this for? 28 years. Woohoo. It's a good looking egg. So today, I thought, why not vlog? I, so far, am having an absolutely outstanding day. It's currently 9.30. It is getting warmer. And do you know what, everyone? I usually hate summer with a pash, with a passion. But this year, I don't. Surprise. Surprise to you. Surprise to me. I'm actually loving it so far. Until it gets too hot, like come November, I'll be like, yuck. Send me back to winter today, yo. I got the day off. Ugh. But my stomach literally feels so good. And like, I don't feel bloated anymore. I didn't even realize how bloated I felt all of the time until recently I got it under control. And I'm just not eating gluten anymore. That's a fib. That's a fucking fib, actually. I do have little bits of gluten every now and again. But yeah, I mean, I'm just a dirty kitchen. You know what sells everyone? Aestheticness sells and like having a feed, an Instagram feed that looks pleasing to the eye. People will, people like that stuff. It's just not me. So if you're here to follow someone who just has their life together 100% of the time, just exit the channel ASAP because <laughs> won't get the channel for you. I'm just here to keep it real and raw, you know. Oh my god, I just want to keep it real and raw with you guys. No, not like that. Tap. Come on now. I just don't care to put on a facade. So eat brekkie with me, two eggs, hash brown, avocado cheese, gluten-free bread, yum. We got this new set, Alex Liddy. I don't know if you know what that is. Came from a kitchen shop, I don't really know. Still don't have the right bowls that I want though, Kmart bowls. I haven't found the bowls that I like yet. Actually, no, that's a lie. I did find ones that I liked in bed, bath and table. $16 a plate. I said, oh no, no. You won't be getting that from me. $16 Christmas decoration though. You've got a sale, you know what I mean? Let's go sit at the table, everyone. Hello, material. Oh, look at this. Who's over there? So, we're eating breakfast now, and then I've got to do some work for Matt from home and choreograph a dance for teaching, which starts back on Tuesday. But apart from that, I'm just like cleaning the house. I thought, why not bring everyone along? You know, see if people are interested in what I do when I'm by myself on the daily. I've already meditated this morning. Um, I'm just in like a happy bouncy mood, you know what I mean? And one thing I've come to realize after not being in a happy bouncy mood for a bit is that people with happy bouncy moods lift other people's moods. Well, for me anyway. Don't eat grass material. Border Collies don't eat grass. I'm having two eggs today because my naturopath said you need two eggs for the protein. She's been such a godsend. So if you want to follow her, this is her page. She posts really, really handy stuff. How's Brink? We're held. Sprink, would you like to confess to everyone what you did the other day? I thought, you know, I've had Sprinkle for two years. I can trust her. I can't because I was throwing the frisbee for cedar and I was eating dinner at the same time. Sprinkle decided to run over to the table and eat a whole chicken thigh that was sitting on my plate. The whole thing, not like a bite, the whole chunk of chicken. And I was like, that went down in about two bites. You're just rude. Was so cute. Oh, come on, Nat. Guys, I mean, I have a hecking spider bite on my leg. I don't know what to do. Oh, oh, why is there fluff there? Why is there fluff? <gasps> Material. Look at me. They're naughty ears. Did you rip that open because material? But she doesn't look guilty though. Have you been naughty material? Look at me. God, you're so cute, Seed. How can I be mad when you're so cute? That was Sprinkle's sun baking bed. You know what? It probably friggin' was Sprinkle. Let me quickly show you this fucking spider bite thing. I don't know if it's a spider bite, but what do you reckon that is? It's got a tail. Yeah, show you a better light. Are you seeing that, man? There's like a little head in that too. See that little bit? Nah, that's sus as. Because yesterday it was just like a blister. And see this red line? Oh, yikes. Yeah, yesterday it was just a blister. 
that I woke up with and I was like, oh, that's weird. I have never seen anything like that before. And it wasn't itchy. It just started peeling off and it was a little bit pussy in the morning yesterday. And just keeps getting redder. So like, I don't know what to do. It's not itchy though. And how's Jack, man, honestly? That man can't let me have pain. In his defense, he doesn't feel pain. Like, I don't think he has a pain threshold. But I was like, oh, Jack, look at this. He's like, yeah, it's probably a mozzie bite. A mozzie bite? Since when are they pussy, Jack? I've been alive for 28 years. I've had, you know, a handful of mozzie bites. Pretty sure I'm familiar with them, and I'd know if it was a mozzie bite. It's not itchy. But all good, all good, Jack. Probably just a mozzie bite. Nothing to be concerned about. The day, the next 12 hours, after I had frigging gastro, Jack was like, oh, I think you just need to get out of the house. Get out of the house, Jack. I called the ambulance six hours ago. I reckon that if we have kids and I go into labor, he'll be like, oh, it's probably just your period. Oh my God. Shut up, man. But I mean, Jack has had a fishing lure stuck in his back and his friend had to pull it out. And did he complain? He was just like, ah. Take me to hospital. Take me to hospital. I'm not getting it pulled out of me. Psycho. And then he didn't even go to hospital when he got back into town because he was at Cape York. And I was like, oh, you're, there's something wrong with you, eh? The weirdo. Like, bless him. He has such good intentions. He just doesn't think that pain is real. It's pretty real, Jack. Yeah, if my leg falls off from a spider bite, it's not, he just thinks I'm so dramatic. I mean, I am, you know what I mean, I am. But like, not that dramatic. If I have a spider bite, let me have a spider bite. I should put some makeup on for you. But I'm just not going to. Oh, oh that's what I was doing. I'm drinking my herbs, which taste disgusting. Literally, Festy. I'll take me herbs. Five meals. Should take my iron tablet too. I haven't taken one of those in a couple of days. You apparently you can only absorb iron every two days. Didn't know that. I hate taking shots of alcohol, let alone herbal concoctions that taste like a literal butthole. You got me tripping. Oh, stumbling. I'm just not cleaning the kitchen right now. What are you gonna do? What are you literally gonna do about it? Nothing. I'm talking to myself. I'm literally talking to myself. And I don't care. I literally don't care because my sisters always get up me and say, Brooke, you talk too much. Guess what? Emily? Exit the video. Exit the video. But you're not going to, are you? Because you want to hear me ramble. Secretly, deep down, you love this side of me. Okay, doing quotes, doing quotes, doing quotes, doing quotes. Actually working, working for real. Oh, hang on a sec. Just want to show you my book. This is what the books come in. How dramatic. The Untethered Soul. I'll just read you a line, ready? Whatever line I read, this is meant for you because that's how the universe works. A person, this is how people ruin relationships and destroy their lives. That was heavy. So sorry about that. Talk about spirituality. These are the two main learnings at the moment that I'm really interested in. Personalities and like learning how people are wired, like externally, what they show. Is that, is that what it really means? Like I put a body language dictionary. I'll tell you something tricky. If someone's standing towards you or if someone's having a conversation with you, but their feet are pointed in an opposite direction, it usually means they don't want to talk to you. Test it out. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you. I just keep rambling and rambling. I hope you're having a good time, because I for sure am. Okay, I'm gonna go get my computer and set up camp right there and do my work out here, because that's what my life is at the moment. Don't be fooled though, I was depressed just a few months ago. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello, Spring. Oh, that was done. She wants me to get it now. I'm not getting it. See ya. Love you. Figure it out. I'm not getting that. What? My computer's bloody updating. I might sunbake. Like, how beautiful is this weather? I need to practice for Port Douglas because, oh my god, I didn't tell you. We're going to Port Douglas. It's confirmed. Also, the only thing I'm concerned about is my spider bite, <laughs> mosquito bite. Not liking the sun, so maybe I'll just cover that up. 
because I do want to practice with Fort Douglas. I need a tan. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to set up camp here for a few hours and I'll check back in with you later. Bye. What's up, team? We are finished the work for the electrical company now. That is officially done skis for the day and it is 11.30. Mum's booked in to come down in like November. Uh, so that's when we'll be doing our decorating video. If you haven't seen the last decorating video, I'll link it up here for you. It's so good. I like biased ads, obviously I love my shit, but. So I am just booking the dogs in for their Bark Royal treatment and it's good this time that I go to Port Douglas because Jack's home, so he'll drop them off and I won't have to drop them off and cry like last time. Sprinkle! <gasps> Caught red-handed, she was eating the pillow. It wasn't even you, material. Hey, do you want to go to Bark Royal? You love Bark Royal. Oh, CD is getting the fly. Get your fly, CD. Get it. Give your fly a touch. Quick. CD. Give your fly a touch. Quickly, go give him a touch. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, get him, Seed. Ooh. Ooh, get him, Seedy. Yucky taste, yuck, Mom. Get your fly, Spring. Go on, you'll eat it. I know you will. Mm hmm. Bless her, she's that cute. Spring! So cute. So I am going to, right now, stick my butterfly tat on. So you get your tat, your sticker. I'm gonna stick my butterfly tattoo. I'm gonna go out and tan. All right, let's get ourselves set up. Yeehaw. Choo-choo, coming through. I'm gonna go get my book and bake in the sun. Oh, would you look at that? Sprinkle has already taken residence on the sun baking chair. Spring! It's hot, thriving though. I was in the sun for about 25 minutes. Let's see if we got a little something. Oh, yeah? You see that? Dang, she read. Cool. Save me a little Kmart sticker for next time. I just want to sit in the shade now and read some more of my book. It's just such a nice day. I want to spend it outside as much as I can. I feel relaxed if it... Sprink. Step away from there right now. I'm watching you. Okay. Get your boots. Sprinky is so cute, Sprinky is so brown, Sprinky is so long, and Sprinky is so skinny. Spring, you're so cute. See, you're also so cute. I'm supposed to do the dishes now, that's what I told you I'd do, but I'm just feeling really, really relaxed. So, I might just have a little day nap on the couch. I'm just a bit sun-kissed. Sun tattoo. Oh, it seems to have gone now. Come have a seat, everyone. Oh. Hello, little skinny. Hello, little skinny. You are a little icky. You are a little icky. Thoughts create our reality. So Jack's brother's here now, and the boys are going to work. They're going to chop up this bit of concrete and get rid of it, and get rid of the clothesline. I am going to put away our groceries because we are having homemade pizzas for dinner tonight. Hello, 
How's it going? Clear vision straight into the backyard. While they do that, I'm going to choreograph. <sighs> anyway, guys, I'm going to leave the vlog here today. It is now 7 p.m. at night. And I hope you enjoyed this video following me around for a day, seeing what I get up to on my day off. But otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!